Before you get to know what is pericarditis, let's review some key points to easily understand pericarditis. There are three layers of tissue form the heart wall. The outer layer of the heart wall is the epicardium. The middle layer is the myocardium. The inner layer is the endocardium. And a sac-like tissue surrounding the heart is called pericardium. Pericardium is the thin two-layer fluid-filled sac that covers the outer surface of heart. Pericarditis is a short medical form of peri, which means pericardium, and itis, which means inflammation or swelling so pericarditis simply means inflammation of the pericardium in other words pericarditis is swelling and irritation of the thin sac like tissue surrounding the heart pericarditis usually develops suddenly and may last from weeks up to several months sometimes there is extra fluid in the space between the pericardial layers which is called pericardial effusion most people do well with prompt treatment, rest and medication. Others may need a procedure to drain fluid from their pericardium which is known as pericardiosynthesis. In most cases, people make a full recovery. However, it can take weeks or months. Pericarditis often causes sharp chest pain. The chest pain occurs when the irritated layers of the pericardium rub against each other. Get medical advice if you have chest pain. The tests needs to be done for pericarditis are chest x-ray to see the size of your heart and any fluid in your lungs, electrocardiogram to look for changes in your heart rhythm, echocardiogram to see how well your heart is working, and check for a fluid around your heart. Please watch next video about symptoms of pericarditis.